Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech. And after I showed you a video how to control your computer via the Google Assistant using PowerShell and Telegram, I'm going to show you the easy way, the Assistant Computer Control way. So before I begin, I want to mention that after I've checked this method, honestly, I'd still prefer my PowerShell and Telegram version instead of that one. So in short, what happens in this version? So you install that Assistant Computer Control app on your computer, then you sort of give it a permission to your Google Drive, and you must have your Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox installed on your computer as well, since this is how it's implemented. And then you need to go to FTT again. Yep, you have no way to do that without FTTT, it seems like that. So FTTTT will have to access your whatever you choose, Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, only those three are supported if I'm not mistaken. And basically you use a predefined command. So for example, if you ask the assistant to mute your computer, it will actually put a text file in a specified folder in your Google Drive, for example, and then the assistant computer control app on your computer will read that file and do the command. It will also delete that file, so you won't get clogged or something. And honestly, I think it's kind of the same method that I used, but with PowerShell, and I wasn't limited to predefined commands. I can do whatever I want. But the predefined commands are very comfortable, and you can use them, and you can pretty much do the same, exactly the same, with Alexa, which is also good as well here. So let's begin, and I'll show you how to install and configure all of that. So, before we begin, I remind you, the prerequisites are that you have Google Drive backup on your computer and you know the folder where it saves it. You also need to have an IFTTT account, if you don't have, go ahead, create that and connect your Google Drive to it already with a Google Assistant, just to prevent some time. So, let's download the Assistant Computer Control. And obviously we are going to install it the moment it finishes download. So, the install is pretty basic. Hit next, next, install, and finish. Now that's it. The Assistant Computer Control is already installed. Now if you'll go to start, Assistant Computer Control, you'll see that it won't open anything because it's in the taskbar. So go ahead to the taskbar, right click on it, and hit settings. And here you should be able to actually configure that. Okay, so after a few seconds I figured it out. If for some reason it didn't open you any configuration wizard like it didn't do on my machine, you can hit do the setup guide again. So let's click on that. And here basically you begin all the setup. So I'm going to use Google Drive, so I'll hit this and proceed with Google Drive. And here you can see pretty much all the steps that you need to do. So you already need to have your Google Drive installed and everything, it should run, and the backup and scene should be working, you should have all your Google Drive uh, folder on your computer. So, in my case, for some reason, ACC doesn't let me proceed. I think it's because I already tried that once, so let's click here. Okay, that's probably why it's not working. It thinks that my Google Drive is on a different folder, which is not. So, in my case, it's something else. Give me a second, I'll enter it. Submit and check, and that's it. Close the window. And now I should be able to proceed. Yeah, here it is. So, right now, you have to sign up for FTT or sign in if you already did that. Now, in my case, I'm already signed in even. Enable the applets you want, let's start with... No, they want to start with shutdown, I'm not into that. I prefer to use mute or lock the computer or something like that. So, if you are using uh, Google Home, you click here and turn on the FTT applet. And pretty much that's it. So now you have to configure from FTTT all the commands you want. Now, I'm not going to click here because basically it will navigate back to our window of uh, Assistant Computer Control. And if we'll go down here, you can choose Google Drive. Now, again, if you use something else, Dropbox or OneDrive, that's cool as well, just choose it. 
and I'm going to try here probably let's try let's try toggle mute let's try that so pretty much you hit the Google Assistant here since that's what we are using and if you are already logged on to the IFTTT and if your Google Drive and Assistant are already connected like mine you hit connect now pretty much there's nothing else to configure just the command so I'm going to say toggle mute instead of toggle computer mute because I think it's more comfortable and hit save now keep in mind that sometimes it takes time to sync and for that we can go to the settings do here check now usually it syncs faster at least for me so let's hope it will work as well here now let's go here and let's finish our guide now it says time to try I don't want to try that I think I'll close it and let's see if it's working so let's go to our sound here and as you can see currently it's R14 and let's just ask Google to toggle the mute hey Google toggle mute and as you can see after a moment we are in mute you can see it here and if I'll ask Google to do it again it will unmute hey Google toggle mute and that's it we're unmuted as you can see it takes a little bit of time and as I said before it pretty much writes a text file into the Google Drive folder, into the system computer control and then basically this program actually finds the text, reads what inside and basically does that command. Now it's pretty easy to make commands, I think it's a little bit short on what it can do still, well in comparison to what you can do with PowerShell which is pretty much whatever you want. But as you can see, there are lots of commands, so you can use whatever you want. Now again, you can pretty much do all the same things with the PowerShell method that I showed before, but you have here pretty lots of commands that are predefined and, well, it should be easier to configure, at least for some of you. I still prefer the PowerShell way, I'm going to use the PowerShell way, not that one. But maybe uh, some of you will prefer to use those. Again, there are kind of cool commands. Now again, I believe I can do pretty much any of those with PowerShell with ease. No issue here. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.